Dielectric spectroscopy, which falls in a subcategory of impedance spectroscopy, measures the dielectric properties of a medium as a function of frequency. It is based on the interaction of an external field with the electric dipole moment of the sample, often expressed by permittivity. It is also an experimental method of characterizing electrochemical systems. This technique measures the impedance of a system over a range of frequencies, and therefore the frequency response of the system, including the energy storage and dissipation properties, is revealed. Often, data obtained by electrochemical impedance spectroscopy is expressed graphically in a Bode plot or a Nyquist plot. Impedance is the opposition to the flow of alternating current in a complex system. A passive complex electrical system comprises both energy dissipator resistor and energy storage capacitor elements. If the system is purely resistive, then the opposition to AC or direct current DC is simply resistance. Materials or systems exhibiting multiple phases such as composites or heterogeneous materials commonly show a universal dielectric response, whereby dielectric spectroscopy reveals a power law relationship between the impedance or the inverse term, admittance and the frequency, omega, of the applied AC field. Almost any physico-chemical system, such as electrochemical cells, mass beam oscillators, and even biological tissue possesses energy storage and dissipation properties. Eyes examines them. This technique has grown tremendously in stature over the past few years and is now being widely employed in a wide variety of scientific fields such as fuel cell testing, biomolecular interaction, and microstructural characterization. Often, EYES reveals information about the reaction mechanism of an electrochemical process, different reaction steps will dominate at certain frequencies, and the frequency response shown by EYES can help identify the rate-limiting step. Topic. Dielectric mechanisms There are a number of different dielectric mechanisms, connected to the way a studied medium reacts to the applied field see the figure illustration. Each dielectric mechanism is centered around its characteristic frequency, which is the reciprocal of the characteristic time of the process. In general, dielectric mechanisms can be divided into relaxation and resonance processes. The most common, starting from high frequencies, are topic. Electronic polarization This resonant process occurs in a neutral atom when the electric field displaces the electron density relative to the nucleus it surrounds. This displacement occurs due to the equilibrium between restoration and electric forces. Electronic polarization may be understood by assuming an atom as a point nucleus surrounded by spherical electron cloud of uniform charge density. Topic: <inaudible> Atomic polarization. Atomic polarization is observed when the nucleus of the atom reorients in response to the electric field. This is a resonant process. Atomic polarization is intrinsic to the nature of the atom and is a consequence of an applied field. Electronic polarization refers to the electron density and is a consequence of an applied field. Atomic polarization is usually small compared to electronic polarization. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Dipole relaxation. This originates from permanent and induced dipoles aligning to an electric field. Their orientation polarization is disturbed by thermal noise which misaligns the dipole vectors from the direction of the field, and the time needed for dipoles to relax is determined by the local viscosity. These two facts make dipole relaxation heavily dependent on temperature, pressure and chemical surrounding. Topic. Ionic relaxation. Ionic relaxation comprises ionic conductivity and interfacial and space charge relaxation. Ionic conductivity predominates at low frequencies and introduces only losses to the system. Interfacial relaxation occurs when charge carriers are trapped at interfaces of heterogeneous systems. A related effect is maxwell wagner sillers polarization, where charge carriers blocked at inner dielectric boundary layers on the mesoscopic scale or external electrodes on a macroscopic scale lead to a separation of charges. 
The charges may be separated by a considerable distance and therefore make contributions to the dielectric loss that are orders of magnitude larger than the response due to molecular fluctuations. <laughs> dielectric relaxation Dielectric relaxation as a whole is the result of the movement of dipoles dipole relaxation and electric charges ionic relaxation due to an applied alternating field, and is usually observed in the frequency range 102 to 1010 Hz. Relaxation mechanisms are relatively slow compared to resonant electronic transitions or molecular vibrations, which usually have frequencies above 1012 Hz. Topic Principles Topic Steady State For a redox reaction R left right arrow Display style left right arrow O plus E, without mass transfer limitation, the relationship between the current density and the electrode overpotential is given by the butler volmer equation J T equals J 0 EXP alpha O F eta minus EXP minus alpha R F eta Display style J underscore text T equals J underscore zero left EXP alpha underscore text O F eta EXP alpha underscore text R F eta right with eta equals E minus E EQ F equals F R T alpha O plus alpha R equals one display style eta equals e underscore text eq f equals f r t alpha underscore text O plus alpha underscore text R equals one j zero display style j underscore zero is the exchange current density in alpha O display style alpha underscore text O and alpha R display style alpha underscore text R are the symmetry factors. The curve J T V S E display style J underscore text T V S E is not a straight line fig 1 therefore a redox reaction is not a linear system topic <laughs> dynamic behavior topic <laughs> 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 faradaic impedance in an electrochemical cell the Faradaic impedance of an electrolyte electrode interface is the joint electrical resistance and capacitance at that interface. Let us suppose that the butler volmer relationship correctly describes the dynamic behavior of the redox reaction J T T equals J T eta T equals J Zero EXP alpha O F eta T minus EXP minus alpha R F eta T Display style J underscore text T T equals J underscore text T eta T equals J underscore zero left EXP alpha underscore text O F eta T EXP alpha underscore text R F eta T right Dynamic behavior of the redox reaction is characterized by the so-called charge transfer resistance defined by R court equals one J T eta 
equals 1 f j 0 alpha o exp alpha o f eta plus alpha R exp minus alpha R f eta display style r underscore text court equals frac one partial j underscore text t partial eta equals frac one f j underscore zero left alpha underscore text o exp alpha underscore text o f eta plus alpha underscore text r exp alpha underscore text r f eta right the value of the charge transfer resistance changes with the overpotential for this simplest example the Faradayic impedance is reduced to a resistance. It is worthwhile to notice that R court equals 1 F J 0 display style R underscore text court equals frac 1 F J underscore 0 4 eta equals 0 Display style eta equals zero. Topic: Double layer capacitance. An electrode. Display style. Electrolyte interface behaves like a capacitance called electrochemical double layer capacitance. C. D L. Display style C underscore text D L. The equivalent electrical circuit for the redox reaction in Fig. 2 includes the double layer capacitance as well as the charge transfer resistance. Another analog circuit commonly used to model the electrochemical double layer is called a constant phase element. The electrical impedance of this circuit is easily obtained remembering the impedance of a capacitance which is given by Z dl omega equals 1 i Omega C DL Display style Z underscore text DL Omega equals frac one text I Omega C underscore text DL where Omega Display style Omega is the angular frequency of a sinusoidal signal radian per second and I two equals minus one Display style script style text i caret two equals minus one. It is obtained z omega equals r t one plus r t c d l i omega Display style z omega equals frac r underscore text t one plus r underscore text t c underscore text dl text i omega. Nyquist diagram of the impedance of the circuit shown in Fig. Three is a semicircle with a diameter r t. Display style script style r underscore text t and an angular frequency at the apex equal to one r t. C D C display style script style one r underscore text t c underscore text d c fig three others representations bowed or black plans can be used topic ohmic resistance the ohmic resistance r omega Display style r underscore omega appears in series with the electrode impedance of the reaction, and the Nyquist diagram is translated to the right. Topic: <laughs> Universal dielectric response. Under AC conditions with varying frequency omega, heterogeneous systems and composite materials exhibit a universal dielectric response, in which overall admittance exhibits a region of power law scaling with frequency y omega alpha display style y propto omega caret alpha
Topic: <laughs> Measurement of the impedance parameters. Plotting the Nyquist diagram with a potentiostat and an impedance analyzer, most often included in modern potentiostats, allows the user to determine charge transfer resistance, double layer capacitance and ohmic resistance. The exchange current density J 0 can be easily determined measuring the impedance of a redox reaction for eta equals 0 Display style eta equals zero. Nyquist diagrams are made of several arcs for reactions more complex than redox reactions and with mass transfer limitations. Topic: Applications. Electrochemical impedance spectroscopy is used in a wide range of applications. In the paint industry, it is a useful tool to investigate the quality of coatings and to detect the presence of corrosion. It is used in many biosensor systems as a label free technique to measure bacterial concentration and to detect dangerous pathogens such as Escherichia coli O157, H7, and Salmonella, as well as yeast cells. Electrochemical impedance spectroscopy is also used to analyze and characterize different food products. Some examples are the assessment of food package interactions, the analysis of milk composition, the characterization and the determination of the freezing end point of ice cream mixes, the measure of meat aging, the investigation of ripeness and quality in fruits, and the determination of free acidity in olive oil. In the field of human health monitoring, is better known as bioelectrical impedance analysis and is used to estimate body composition as well as different parameters such as total body water and free fat mass. Electrochemical impedance spectroscopy can be used to obtain the frequency response of batteries. See also Loss tangent Debye relaxation Ellipsometry Linear response function Kramer's chronic relation Green cubo relations Electrochemistry Potentiostat Induced polarization IP, Spectral induced polarization SIP.